Welcome back to the channel. Quick vid. Farting around with a couple things downstairs. Got a couple minutes. Had some fun this weekend. It was an interesting, but stressful and busy. All that kind of fun stuff. Um, I got a kick-ass care package in the mail. Big shout Hillbilly FTV. If you don't know him, you gotta know him. He's one of the smartest guys I know. He's part of New England FPV. Um, he sent me a care package, which I'll quickly show you, but this was part of it was these props. Um, I've never flown quad props before and I uh, was super excited to try them. This is my chill rig <coughs> Enigma. Excuse me. Where's my caffeine? That's what's keeping me awake past seven o'clock tonight. <laughs> It's been that long of a day, weekend, but anyway, um, I got to test them. I got to fly at the range before trap. Uh, what's today? Monday. Yesterday. So, uh, and I flew around the yard a couple times. I'm impressed. These are Gemfan. Um, 50 something, something, something. I forget what the hell they are, but they rock. Motors don't get hot. Nothing gets hot. It's It feels more locked in. I am super, super loving these, but... Hillbilly sent me, not this green bin, a care package with 8 million, oh, that's budget, budget, hey budget, all kinds of props, multiple, hey, hey, who's that guy, multiple different props, props, hey look, more props. There's a handful of older ones in there, some broken ones, some pieces. And oh, I got, I got, I forgot I had these in here. I need these. That's important. And another set of these that I'm going to try. I slapped a different set. I have pretty much flown with the same set of props on Tata's, but I wanted to try something different. These are Airhead, like the candy, the color style props. I don't think I have the bag anymore. Hold on. Yep, I do. Gem fan. So I got a set of those. I'm going to try and see how those hold up. Because that's more of my basher. Not that I'm a basher style flyer, but you get the idea. But big shout out to Hillbilly FPV. Literally search them. Um, I will put a link in the description once I remember and get this video up and going. I really appreciate it. And he sent me a VTX. Because I am going to experiment with a better VTX because both big quads have, I forget what the hell brand it is, uh, just 200 milliwatt. But I've gotten a significant, significant range increase and video quality being 10 times better by using a better, bigger antenna on the big quads and on my goggles. Because on my little rigs, they don't have this tall, but putting it on my goggles made the world of difference too. So I think I'm going to up the milliwatt on these and experiment some more because, you know, when you get trees and stuff behind you or depending on where you're flying, you know, I want as much reliability and I've seen a great increase in that so far. So, but um, I thought the, the whole idea of this quick video was to show you the insanity when it comes to customization and stuff over here. Um, I'm a big old school sneakerhead and big Air Max fan. So what I have here is an Air Max 720. Um, I think I got three different pairs and they're all different colors, but uh, I bowl and my feet are usually extremely sore because there's no cushioning in those shoes. They, it's got a smaller toe box. It just, you know, I've got a wider foot portion right here, real bony right here. So I, I suffer in pain. So I came up with the bright idea of turning it into a bowling shoe. So I got a kick-ass slide pad from one of the guys that I bowl with and uh, I've been bowling with it for two weeks. And it works phenomenal. The only problem is the glue that I'm using, the hot glue, right here on the edge is coming undone. And it doesn't like it. Just on the edge. The inside is solid as a rock. But on both sides. And this is like the third time. I just the, the material that the shoe is made out of. So I'm just going to do the seams with some shoe goo. Literally. I have had. Here it is. Got my little uh, injector here smooth that out clean it up and then I use the soldering iron and I run along the edge after it's hardened to smooth out that edge so that is what my quick little project of the day it is it has been a manic Monday for sure um, love when weeks start like this
feel bad for my little one. She has the flu and she has, um, oh, what's that stupid throat thing? Oh my God. My brain just stopped. It's a throat thing. Whatever it is, she's got two things one, so she's been fighting a fever of about 103.4 to 104 something. Um, yeah, I've just been shitty. Lack of sleep in this house for the last couple days, and then half of my day yesterday was spent fighting a migraine. So, fantastic, but not complaining. Life is blessed, could always be worse. Strep throat, that's what it is. Ding, 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 ding. So, she's got the flu and strep throat. Ah, thankfully, not COVID. Thankfully. So I'm going to get to my little project. I hope everyone's doing well. And uh, big shouts. Oh, yeah. I broke this out. Broke it out and was ripping outside. F and Chet brought over his little buggy. And uh, he put drift tires on it. And he did it kind of as a joke and hoping it would work. And it worked way better than we anticipated. And we're doing some epic drifting up and down around the corner in the street. So it has inspired me a little bit. So... I think I'll be adding to the garage, if you know what I mean. Keep this little one inside. It did not like the terrain. The tires are weak. And that's like eight minutes of ripping, and it's already destroyed these freaking tires. So that was a hint to another video coming soon. So we'll see. But hope you guys have a great Monday. Looking forward to Taco Tuesday and Bowling Wednesday. Yay! So peace out. Thank you for the, taking the time to listen to me ramble and goof around and if you've ever done something fun like that or would like a little more information on the pad and stuff like that let me know i'm here